Hi there, I'm back again, this time to talk about wiki projects and how to provide feedback to the partner teams. Of course, you already know the old adage, praise in public and criticize in private. And since your comments are viewable by the entire class, you want to keep that in mind as you formulate your responses. But let's look again at the mechanics of posting comments to wikis in Haiku. The first step is to go to the Connect tab and then select Wiki Projects from the drop-down menu. Then scroll through the Wiki Projects until you see the one you want. We're going to use the Test Wiki Project to start with today. You can either choose the title or the Manage Wiki Project button to access the projects. If you choose the Manage Wiki Project, then choose the View Project Detail. Scroll all the way down through all the instructions and you'll see the wiki sites. Students who've started a wiki site will have a View Wiki Site button. Those who have not will have a Start Wiki Site button. In the title block, you can see there's been one comment made and it can be read either there or at the bottom of the page. Once you open the comment, you'll see there'll be another plus sign to make a comment or to manage the comments. In this case, I began my comment with some general praise, then my specific feedback on what was done well. I went on to offer a few suggestions about how to improve their submission for next time by expanding the visual appeal. I'm not only asking for more creativity, but I want them to utilize more of the multimedia aspects of wiki sites and recognize how much more information is conveyed when they do. This skill is vital to facilitating the learning of EL students, so I want to reinforce it every chance I get. This group only completed half of the assignment, so I've commented on that here as it's an obvious oversight that other participants may make as well. I'm also modeling a very gentle redirection. I will also email privately these two group members with the same request for the second half of the assignment. Now on a separate note, I created a second page to show you the difference um, a few minor changes can make in the visual impact of the presentation. You can see here a catchy title and some pictures really help bring this student, Mace, to life for our roster. Once the participants get rolling, they might choose to add video clips, web links, all sorts of multimedia content that will enrich their presentations and engage them in a much greater depth. Now, in actual wiki projects, you will also need to grade the projects. So let's take a look at how that works. Again, you're gonna to have to scroll through the instructions come to the bottom where you'll see the partner teams listed. And when this box appears, that tells you that they've submitted something. So we'll click on Darrell and Keith. And notice the grade box will appear right up here. You have the choice of adding, once you click in there, either a P to say that they've completed the assignment or an F for non-completion. Unfortunately, the X and the R that we use um, for resubmission and completion notice in the Dropbox is not available in the Wiki Project Grading. That's it, and thanks for watching.